Hello, this is the 2021 candidate for governor of Virginia. My name is Merle Rutledge. And then, of course, I'm going to get this started like I always do because there's always some devils running around. I can see my name tagged to some crap. And realistically, I address that whenever I feel like it. Now, first off, God is good all the time. I repeat that. God is good all the time. After uh, being on the Shilling Show out of Charlottesville, I'm very thankful for them giving me the opportunity to address the public out there. And I hope to hear from y'all very soon. I know y'all very excited after that interview, after I fired up the base out there for Merle Rutledge to come into town. So I plan on being there whenever I, uh, actually I plan on being there as soon as possible. Now, let me get this address out the way for the churches because I went to the Bible Belt I was in Danville, Virginia, Pennsylvania County, Halifax County, all the way around the board. And I said to myself, since the church door seems to be closed and ain't nobody out there, it's a Sunday. I'm trying to figure out what in the world's going on. But I said, you know what, sometimes God give out blessing. You don't realize it until you actually see the bigger picture. So this is what I wrote yesterday. So you know it came from me. So I'm going to read it out loud because I got to let God know how good he has been to me. Then I'm going to address the political hoax that's going on all across America with the COVID craze. Now, let me sip my coffee real quick. All right. Now I'm ready. As much as I can say bad news, God still sought for me to give out good news. The churches can stay open with unlimited capacity since it's outside and still be blessed above recognition. Churches have moved too much into the inside and further into the building and not out there where the public can see God's grace and how good God has been to you. That's exactly what we need to see out there, especially during these times. Don't just look for the building to be inside the building be outside show god how good he has been to you and your congregation and definitely wake up america to let them know the devil hasn't won now at this time period we can't see church because when i was riding around everything was closed now we can show the world how good god has been to you with the world bring church outside into the world and give it God's word. Many die from the lack of knowledge, meaning when people drive past, let them see y'all praising God. Let them know that they have a church home even dur during this dark time. Now, let them see God's testimony that those that used to think they was tougher than God are giving God the praise. Because a lot of time brains, a lot of people don't even know certain people are in church because they've been raising havoc all their life. And then for them to see them and say, hey, if you are in the church, I don't have an excuse for me not to give God the time and the praise for me still being able to open up my eyes, still able to breathe, still able to fight for America another day. Now, people are caught up in the liberal truth. And the liberal truth is far from truth. That's just basically fake news. But people are blessed and have eternal life because they give God divine grace. Now show the world how good God has been to you. Not only open the church doors, but also America opened up thine heart from this dark time of hate. Now, this has been a problem with these politicians. They make the deals with the Dems that are demons. Not just leave your people, but they forgot that God has put the armor and every one of God's children is dipped in the blood of Jesus. Not liberals. If we promote bad behavior and hide from it, then we will keep raising it on up. If we promote good, there will be more good now look at what the devil's liberal media is promoting. That's exactly why common ground with those of faith of all walks of life are at this time frame wanting unity.
because right now America and what they see across it is burning. Now, what does that mean, people? It means to me, God sent me that message to basically say, y'all been in the church for too long, in the doors for too long. It's about time that the world at one time all see how good God is to you and to your family and showing him the praise and putting on a worldwide scale. So if they want Facebook Live, let them Facebook Live out there in the parking lots, out there wherever you are, showing exactly God has the praise. Now, I see people is up to some crap these days. And you know, it's kind of crazy and funny when a second stimulus is being talked about. When America is trying to be bailed out again, it's funny how COVID all of a sudden made it to the big news. While when the protests and rioting was going on, you didn't see none of that. So all of a sudden, the virus took a break. It, it said, hey, I can sleep now and let America burn itself because guess what? That's what I was doing. Let me take a break so I can figure out what I want to do next. Oh, I just make a comeback <laughs> after the rising has died down, after the burning and looting has died down. All of a sudden, it's a comeback. You know what happened here, people? Pay attention to this. I've been talking about this all week long. That's why people have been paying attention. I'm going to smoke me a cigarette because I'm smoking Democrats out. And that's exactly what it is. This is a big political host. And trust me, I'm pissed off with those Republican governors that was too soft during this time period. They should have smelled the liberal BS as soon as it was happening. They was watching too much CNN. They were watching too much MSNBC. That's what really was happening. And basically got scared. That's why we don't have the leadership that we need now here in America. And I'm running for governor because guess what? I'm not like these politicians. You know, I don't talk like them. I don't use the proper grammar. I'm as politically incorrect and there's not even one bit of political correctness in me. That's why people are on the reckless train because they've been trying to say this, but they felt like it, it was above them to do so. But now how America has gotten, they don't care no more. They off the rails. I'm seeing even the most, uh, the most respected members in the community that they claim to be because honestly God has treated us all equal. Now basically firing off on all cylinders. And they're like, Rutledge, you're saying exactly what I want to say, but I'll let you do the job. I said, don't worry about it. Let me do the job. Let me finish the job. That's exactly what I'm here for. So take it easy. So I said, COVID makes a comeback after the looting and rioting. It just tied itself to explode like dynamite all over the country. I said, really? Really? Now, how many people have died all over the country? Oh, it's still at 1%. Oh, so basically, there's more cases. You don't know how long that person has had COVID. And they're doing just fine. But you have cases now. While a second bailout is being discussed. Pay attention to this, people. The Democrats pushed this. Because they knew it's time for me to get more pork barrel spending. They have got more money for their pork barrel projects than ever before. Watch how much of the dump truck of bullshit that they are going to put in this legislation and try to go ahead and hold the country hostage. And then President Trump has to go ahead and sign some bullshit because basically everybody's scared. They knew to promote the fear during this time frame. As soon as it was. This was the cookie, and then they was asking for the glass of milk. They're like, oh, he's considering the second stimulus. Let's go ahead and get our pork barrel projects in. Really? This is what America has came to. This is what America has came to. So now we got all these COVID. Republican governors is falling into the trap, closing down their states, their beaches. And America is going back out of business. So those that was on the borderline of surviving and trying to make a comeback have basically lost all hope. So this is where the new world order is coming in. And this is where socialism 
is coming in at this time period because now it has the gateway. This is what the gateway drug. Basically, they want to see because the liberal media shut down America and weak leadership allowed it to happen. President Trump gave it to the states here because this is the last method for the federal government to handle state business. But the fact is, he was right. There's more than just weak leadership just because they're Democrats. Democrats is not that weak because they're looking for the money in it. That's what it is right now. And they know COVID has sold. That's what it is. So they go with their number one, you know, money-making project. That's selling beer to America. And then the Republican governors, weak ones, the ones I'm ashamed of. I'm ashamed of. Your state was running fine. You didn't have no high mortality rate. And you shut down because there were some cases that, of course, liberals was trying to make sure all this testing was done for, right? But guess what? We've been months on months in with COVID around, and we are still at 1%. You get this, people. You see how salt our leadership is and then you wonder why i'm looking at the rest of them here in my campaign and my opponents i'm like y'all too soft for this y'all too weak y'all would have done exactly what these other pos's did i'm like south dakota is just a special type of state they just all of a sudden able to stay open where the other states ain't staying open and guess what they have the same available resources and they still right now they talking about saving mount rushmore do you, they're not even talking about COVID because they understand bullshit. This is what it's about. And the liberal media is selling it. And each of the states that have in these high COVID rates are areas or states in which the president is supposed to have a rally. Aren't you seeing this is about the election? COVID is about port barrel spending. We're going to get the most of it. And then after that, we're going to take over America. But guess what? America is going to be masked up, locked into their home, and can't go out, and then you're going to have a drone flying over you. As soon as you open the door, go back in your house. Go back in your house. And guess what you're going to do? Go back in your house. I want to get that drone, a middle finger, get in my car, and go wherever I want to. I'm like, this is that liberal crap. I'm sweating right now because I'm pissed off. How can we be this weak? Seriously. And people are voting for this weakness. You know what I'm saying? Any career politician right now, you should just say to yourself, hold on, hold on to my vote. Because this time, Frank, I need to find out exactly what you're made of. I can't just give you entitlement because I see an article out there saying you're running. I don't want that. I don't want nobody voting for me because an article says I'm running. Find out what I'm about. Find out what these candidates is all about. Because it seems like people are drinking the blue magic and don't realize if they are promoting a candidate right now from the other side, guess why? They know they can beat that candidate and all they want to do is say, we beat your candidate fair and square. But guess what? That candidate wasn't ready for a general election because they were too toxic before they even got into it. Democrats is going to have a landslide over Virginia if we keep going this route. We keep dealing with our own bullshit. More infighting, more stupidity. All thing we're doing is releasing statements to say, oh, the governor's wrong. All this other stuff. Where is the fight in you, Patriots? Because I ain't seeing it. America ain't seeing it. Virginia is now hoping that somebody comes in as a fighter. And the more they hear about Merle Rutgers and find out, hey, he's a fighter, we finally got a chance. But guess what? The liberal media is trying to blackball me. But they giving a lot of attention to candidates they can beat because they've been beating them before. Anybody in our establishment right now, we lost, We had 33 seat handicap. We got candidates that ain't even trying to get new voters. I got Jimmy Frost. I just watched this interview. This guy's out of Virginia Beach. He's running for a Republican Party chairman. He came out guns blazing with a plan and saying, this is how we take Virginia back. I was listening and hearing exactly what you had to say, and damn it, if this guy wasn't right. Talking about how we going to win if we going with the same losing plan. We hoping to just keep our voters. Guess what? We lost a decade keeping our voters. And people won't even go outside with a Trump hat. 
they won't even wear Republican paraphernalia because they're scared to get harassed. I go wherever I damn well want to. One thing about me, you will see me saying I'm a Republican all damn day long, wearing Republican gear. If I go out somewhere in big city, small town, big county, doesn't matter. They need to see the flag is out there flying high with pride. We don't have that no more. We got people wearing dresses and suits and basically having nothing that says Republican about them. But guess what? They are claiming Republican. Guess what? We are losing. I don't know what people want out of me. But I'll be damned if this is the last that we get of clear leadership. I'm like, we got too many kids at the adult table right now. And we got the New World Order on steroids right now. And they are still wearing about their makeup looks good. I had an idiot yesterday send me a comment talking about how about you drop out? Guess what? Drop out for what? Drop out so I can watch this other candy ass get the ass kicked? Drop out for what? I said to myself, you already gave up America. I'm like, the pieces of crap and human scum like you have gave up America. Those who claim to be tough out of Texas and Florida, oh, now they're tucking tail and closing down their states. After we reopen, this is exactly what the New World Order needed to happen. This is exactly designed. We want you to open up so we can show you how quickly we can shut you down. We gave up, no, not we, politicians, great politicians, gave up. White flag of surrender with them. We of liberal BS. They pumping it all over the news because they know exactly how much pressure that's going to cause. And they just gave up so they they didn't look bad. Not in the best interest of the country. They didn't look bad. They so focused on identity politics. Identity politics. That's why you don't hear me. I hear it on radio shows. I hear it on TV. Oh, you're the first black Republican man that is running for the government. I don't want to hear that crap no more. I'm not running for white Virginia. I'm not running for black Virginia, green Virginia. I'm running for Virginia because the leadership is needed. That doesn't have race as a policy in my campaign. It has character. It has hard work. It has clear answers to the questions that's affecting Americans every single day. And it's directly talking to them and saying exactly there will not only be change, there's going to be action that's substantive on the issues that you bill is harming American interests and especially affecting Virginia's bottom line. There needs to be leadership for that. You can't find that in another politician. Politicians don't have that heart. They've never been in that fight. The only fight they've been in, they got paid $20,000 to fight. And once that money runs out, they run out of the fight. That's what happens. Once the money runs out, they run out the fight. Because it ain't in their heart and soul. Be careful of those jumping up like chill. I'm pro Trump, pro Trump, but you don't see them with Trump gear. You don't see them out anywhere other than a Trump rally. Where are you at? Period. I'm serious. They, they don't have it. Two A. All of a sudden, I'm a two A fighter. I got a gun to my side, but I got paid twenty thousand dollars because they are focused on appearance, not on leadership. That's why when you ask a question about what you want to do for 2 a they can't give you an answer. The only thing they're going to give you out is a boilerplate. I'm for 2 a I support 2 a I whatever. But what are you going to do? We found out how much you gained. Virginia Civil Defense League gave you $20,000. They might as well gave it to the NRA. If I got to be bought off and paid off, for me to fight for my country, for my heart and soul. I would have sold out every single American and every single American is being sold out right now. They either being miseducated and misinformed or people who have the knowledge is not even trying anymore because they got to feel comfortable about where they at and who they talk to. I talk to all Americans because there is a moment. I tell people about the second of change where you talk to somebody 
who was misinformed and miseducated and you got into their heart and soul and told them what the Republican Party is all about. And that person said, I'm the strongest Republican you will ever meet because she told me the truth. Guess what? You are looking at that Republican. Right here. That's the Republican you're looking at right now. The one who put his faith and his principles above any party. Because too many right now bound down on the knees of man right now and thinking that is okay, okay for my generation to say, bow down on your knees and kiss somebody's feet. Not in my country. Not to anybody, not even to me. That's embarrassing. And all because of political hoax and some crappy officer in Minnesota. You think you're going to take over America and be damned on that? Like I told people, my plan for the rise in Lupin was easy. It's called being a good parent where parenting is not there. It's called basically saying, exactly, you reinstate those charges. You have them clean up white, black. I don't care who was making the mess and what your race is. No, it's your character that got you in the mess. And clean up what you started and repair the damage you caused. Show some leadership. When you break a plate in your house, what do you do? You clean up your mess. They're just being told, keep it going. We gonna keep letting you out. And then I come to find out, I went to Halifax County. They are letting out the hardest of murderers. They got a murder right now being put in consideration for release right now with three capital murder charges, two life sentences, should have got the death penalty, but right now because of Governor Northam, he has a new chance at killing more people. This is happening all across Virginia. This COVID is cover for what they're doing right now and putting dangerous people out there to help with their war. Basically what they said is find, go out there, find your gun and cause as much havoc because we need for you to help be a catalyst to the fear. Because we showed you, we are officially get incentive to keep doing this because we are releasing you. We are already, see, we murdered this person. Now we need for you to do again. We told you we'll look out. Now a Republican like me, I told you I would be at death row pulling a switch. I said exactly, every single death warrant for execution, I'm going to be there at the jail making sure it goes well. I'm not going to be releasing you. I'm going to tell exact law and order and discipline because my kids' future is more important than that. They need to see the leadership. They don't need to see and have mentorship from the next pedophile, which they keep releasing. I'm sick of it. So as far as I'm concerned, y'all got a chance to decide that you're going to deal with the politicians anymore. What have they done? Because right now I see entitlement politics. And like I said, I'm going to burn that bitch straight down. Don't worry about the language because I ain't being nice no more. I'm coming with the gloves on. And every single opponent, every single candidate. And you're going to earn my respect just like I'm going to earn yours. That's just the way it is. You're not going to get a newspaper clipping that gives you 50,000 likes. Anybody can do that. Right now, I need for somebody who is going to win America back. And it seems like the only person showing leadership throughout the country is the president of the United States because we just saw how soft these governors are. We saw how soft our leadership is. I'm tired of these sick old rhino. They'd be the first one. I'm going to Trump. I'm going this. Look at Denver Ringelman. He lost his election. I'm like, so what? But he's still up in there trying to fight. And I'm like, we are supposed to be rallying around the nominees because our country, not ourselves, is more important. You put your fight into helping us win back a country that we have lost, and we lost it because of failure and those who are thinking about personal interest. They don't have one damn thing that they care about when it comes down to this country. I'm like, that's the problem. We got people in the newspapers and all over the place saying, hey, well, if I don't win the Republican nomination, I'm just going to run as an independent and go ahead and screw us all over. Because your feelings got hurt. That's pride talking. And pride is one of the situations we don't need. We need 
patrons and leadership and those who are willing to put out the sacrifice because our country is more important. How many people are basically promoting still self? Those are the rhinos you need to be worried about because those same rhinos was talking shit about Trump and all of a sudden when Trump won, they jumped on the bandwagon. Watch for these fence jumpers and these gone with the wind politicians. Because I didn't win, I no longer support the Republican Party. You see a whole lot of that right now, and they've been talking about it. People just been blind and not listening. I uh, that's the worst two things: blind and not listening to exactly when somebody tells you, "I plan to screw you over if I don't get what I want." These politicians are having temper tantrums, and they just Black Lives Matter. That's why I've been calling out. Y'all been having temper tantrums. Like I said, I'm coming back. I'm winning this election one way or the other. Hell, how what? I'm going to Southwest. I'm going to Northern Virginia. I'm going to South. I'm going wherever I need to go, wherever place I need to go. You're going to say, I'm tired of seeing Merle Rutledge all over the TV showing leadership. And that's exactly what's going to happen in this 2021 Virginia governor's race. My name is Merle Rutledge, and I'm taking Virginia back.